The biggest ball would be absolutely junk. Couldn't do it. Well, did you talk about scuba two? Yeah, a little bit. Yeah. Price and so on. Or? Didn't talk about the price. Talk okay. about the price. Okay. Go, ahead. Go on. Yeah, the instrument above us so uh, weighs 4,000 kilos, so it weighs more than a uh, about the same as a Volkswagen bus. We had to rebuild the entire telescope in order to put it on. It is one of the most advanced instruments anywhere in the world, and we look back more than 12 billion light years in the past. So the uh, you know, I always refer to uh, astronomers as being time travelers, and of course, everything that you do is, uh, has a, occurred sometime in the past. If you look at the sun, you're seeing something that happened eight minutes ago. If you're looking at the moon, it happened, what, 20 seconds ago? Something of the sort. If you look at uh, Orion, uh, you're looking at something that happened three and a half years ago. This telescope will look back 12 billion years or more, and we get to a point where what we're looking at doesn't even exist anymore. It's not probably well, ceased to exist eight or ten billion years ago. We will sometimes see several generations of galaxies, because galaxies do go through a life cycle, you know, four, you know, deep rain, and then a heat star formation will occur and we'll look at things that occurred back when uh, the universe was still being formed. So it's uh, an uh, incredible amount of capability. So I, how about if we move over there, Mark? Yeah. It's easier to talk.